Oh my goodness. The wind, the wind is just howling all night long. All night long. I'm like, I'm in a pretty good spot. I picked a place kind of surrounded by trees so that it would shelter me, but man, it was still so loud. And then, you know, you can hear it whipping around and then whoosh comes in and shakes the tent all night long. It's still going now. Ugh. Walking through farms, no big deal. But when they wire the freaking gates shut and I have to jump, up, jump over barbed wire fences, it's super lame. And I never know which ones are electric. As a Canadian, the fact that no one in France, when you like step out of the way of the road or like you let a car pass or something, that no one does the little like head nod or the little wave that we do in Canada to be like, thanks, it blows my mind. I'm like, I just stepped out of the way for you. And I, they just avoid eye contact. It's so interesting. Everywhere. Sometimes I will wave and then they're like, oh, why are you waving at me? It's totally weird. <laughs> well, look at that. I'm walking into Bordeaux. If it weren't nine o'clock in the morning, I would have a glass of wine. But it's nine o'clock in the morning. We haven't seen any castle ruins lately. It's cool. I caught up to another couple hexa trekkers, Matthew and Nathan, and we decided to walk into Julefi together. There's an ice cream challenge in Julefi that we wanted to try out. Because this trail is still so new, the trail community is really small but very tightly knit. So Instagram and Discord is usually where we chat to each other and pass along information from the trail. And one of the other Hexa Trekkers had made an ice cream challenge at this really delicious ice cream place. <laughs> Pretty much as soon as Nathan started ordering, I knew I was no match for this challenge. So I ordered a sensible four scoops of ice cream. While I believe Nathan had 21? I'll have to double check that. <laughs> you did it! Yay! <laughs> so I ran into a couple of other hexa trekkers that I've seen once or twice before. Two guys from Belgium. And uh, we went into Du La Fille. Uh, and there is an ice cream store there with really excellent ice cream. And so there is a new Hexatrek challenge to see how many scoops of ice cream you can eat uh, in like one sitting. The owner is stoked about it because he's like, oh, all these hungry people are coming to eat all my ice cream now. Um, I just had four because that's more than enough. I don't need to make myself throw up. I still have like 12 kilometers to hike today. <laughs> but I was with uh, Nathan and... Ugh, now I forget. Crap, I'm terrible. Anyway, uh, Nathan ate 20 scoops of ice cream of all the flavors, basically. So that is the current official Hexatrek record as of like August 8th of 2023. So there you go. Um, but it was such good ice cream. I had the lychee flavor and violet and passion fruit. Oh, it was amazing. And the owner was so nice. It's such a lovely spot. So if you're on the Hexatrack in the future, stop at the artisanal ice cream place in Julefi and eat as much ice cream as will fit in your body because it's delicious and awesome.
lavender smells so good. Mmm, I wish you could smell it. Definitely not my best camp spot. You got this guy here. Um, just sort of like just off a walking path. It's like kind of over there. I can hear people, which is a little awkward, but I don't know what they're doing. Hopefully they're just on the regular path. But uh, there's like a nearly 40 kilometer red line of no bivouac zone. And I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do? So I'm here in the trees in what I think is basically just a park. So hopefully it's fine. Here's what I've been eating. Mushrooms, tuna, and oil, uh, spiced couscous, goat cheese, uh, and then I've got like a tomato sauce thing. through hike gets to be particularly interesting. Today is just one of those sort of fill in the gap days. I'm hiking to the end of stage three today. So that's exciting. But yeah, it's more or less just a flattish walk through farms and forests to get to the end of the section. But then that's officially half halfway for miles kilometers even though it's sort of like psychological or timeline halfway point was that big rock maybe 100 kilometers ago so it's still quite cool to be finished with stage three this was a 10 out of 10 public bathroom 10 out of 10 uh clean didn't smell potable water trash can, soap, and toilet paper. Would recommend. Just taking a little mid-morning snack break. Been doing these stroop waffles with peanut butter on top. And that's pretty good. They got a little smushed up in my backpack, but solid. And then these little uh, Nescafe cappuccinos. It's uh, pretty good. Well, I just got to the campground that's on the map, and uh, it is very closed. So that's an exciting turn of events. Uh, so after 30 kilometers of hiking, I'm going to make a new plan. Not exactly sure what it is yet, but I might make my way into the city of Delimar, uh, because that's quite a bit bigger than this uh, Chateau de Fouteron. And I think I will have better luck at finding somewhere to stay there. So there's a bus, but it doesn't leave for like an hour. So I might try to just get a hitch in because it's like a 15 minute drive. It's not far. So we'll see how it goes. Also, this is just the most refreshing little beverage. It's uh, like it's mint soda, kind of. It's almost like sparkling mouthwash on the first taste, but it is super refreshing. It's really good. Okay, celebrating 1500 kilometers by taking a day with a real bed and eating sushi in bed. Amazing, I'm so excited. I got a little hotel room for a day so that I can just chill out and like do chores and eat food and lay in bed and be a bum. Um, so I'm doing my laundry in the sink here because uh, A, I don't feel like doing it in the washing machine because 
it's just expensive. Mostly just because it's expensive and I can just wash it in the sink and it's fine. Um, but also because <laughs> I've only got really like the one outfit to wear so it means I really can't go out in public if I put them all in the washing machine. So I'm doing them in batches so that I have something to wear. Just did a quick little resupply. It's only like 60 kilometers to the next grocery store, so it's like two days away, which is pretty crazy. So just a couple days of food, and I'll be back on the road tomorrow. I just got some pizza delivered. I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, this is like the first time on tri on this trail that I. I'm getting like a space to myself. Um, every other zero day, it's been like either shared with other people or like in a campground where I just like, where am I gonna go hang out in my tent? So this is the first day where I just get to like be alone indoors by myself. And uh, yeah, so I'm just like treating myself a little bit. Uh, pizza and uh, ooh, it's like bread thing. I got a little soda and some tiramisu. I have wine left from last night. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Although I'm not gonna lie, this pizza is uh, a little burnt. It's a little burnt. All right, it is time to leave my little hotel room. Oh, it was a nice little break, but I'm actually quite ready to get back on the trail. Being indoors so long is weird. So I'm in Montelimar, which is uh, known for nougat quite famous for us. So look at this little guy. He's got a big piece of nougat. <laughs> so funny. Well, it's a little bit later than I had intended to start this morning. It's just after 11, but I had to wait for the bus to get from Montelimar back to Chateauneuf de Rome. Anyway, so now I am back on the trail. Just about to cross the river to get, you know, officially into stage four. And then, I don't know, I'll just hike until I'm tired, I guess. Um, there is kind of a long no bivouac section again. So I'll either need to stealth camp or do a short day. So I haven't decided which one I'll do. I guess I'll kind of see how I feel when I get to the end of the wax safe zone. We shall see. But now every step that I take means that I've hiked more kilometers than are yet remaining. So that's a weird feeling kind of. <laughs> I'm already like sad. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about it but I'm already like oh it's oh it's you know getting closer to the end and I've already finished all of the Alps which means I have no more Alps to hike. I loved the Alps. It was so beautiful. But got the stage three stages left. It's plenty of time and more beautiful things to see. So degrees outside this morning. It is gonna be a hot, hot couple of weeks as we are now very much in August and at low elevation. It is oof, it's gonna be sweaty.
like a thousand degrees outside. And I'm sure it's only going to get worse. And also the trail is horrible. It's like totally grown over with like blackberries and brambles and it's just like cutting me all up. Everything has thorns, everything. It's just like shredded my legs, keeps catching on my shirt. It's terrible. Anyway, I'm sweating to death. colored sets of doors and shutters and I just love it. It's so pretty. Despite the excessive heat, it really is quite pretty down here. With all of these great vines, green. Oh, but it is hot. Very, very hot. Now I really wish there was a way to tell when a river was going to be dry. I mean, besides looking at the landscape for the 500 meters before. This is meant to be my water source, but there's not a drop of water here. It's so dry and hot. <sighs> well, yeah, there's basically been no water anywhere. So I found this uh, big tub outside of this cottage thing and it has water. So I am filtering it. I don't know where it is where it came from, but I imagine it's just rainwater. And that's what we have filters for. Hmm. Well, less concerned about water now. I filtered a liter of the weird bucket water, so hopefully that's good for now. Well, all of the water sources have mostly been dry, so I went over to this little German family over here and they gave me some water, and that was super nice of them. <laughs> Well, I think I've hiked, I don't know, 25 or 28 kilometers now. And I was gonna go a little further, but this spot's so flat and nice. And then I could just go another 32 tomorrow and be at a campground. I don't know. I'm gonna eat dinner and think about it. <laughs> really, I'm just very tired somehow still dehydrated even though I've had like four liters of water and two with electrolytes. It's just been like 35 degrees all day. It's so hot. Yeah, I gave up on hiking for the rest of tonight. It's like 7.30 now. Still 31 degrees at 7.30 and the heat just zapped all of my energy. Anyway, doesn't matter. I can do whatever I want. So... I'm going to stop here and I'm going to go to sleep early so I can get up earlier in the morning and hike when it's not as blazing hot. That's the plan at least. Ugh. <sighs>